Hello everybody, my name is Luis Cervantes Oropesa. I'm currently a junior at Portland State University, majoring in computer science. But enough about me, let's get started on this. All right, so as you guys know, coding is difficult. This is nothing easy. Especially right now, we're just gonna be talking about the movement and the classes, how the hierarchy works, Java itself. So a lot of this, a lot of this, I got it from the, from GitHub, from the normal repository for the whole application of FTC. So how the whole robot moves and everything. The, the, this is this one of their sample drives, and I'll be using this as reference to explain kind of like the overall how everything works. Because the problem is that at least me, I used to be in FTC, and when I first started, like I was like, I was like, why do I have public here? What does public mean? Or like, okay, why do I have to put private? Well, okay, can I just leave it like that? Or like, how does that work? You know? So like, I'm here to explain to you guys how to actually be able to understand and read this whole code. To actually be able to read it like a textbook, to be like, okay, you know? Like, this is easy, you know? Like, I could pick it up and be like, all right, let's get started on this, you know? So my goal for this video is to be able to give you guys enough skills, at least just in this for the movement to be able to go and do more stuff. Because if you know, if you understand this, you can actually go and do much more to it. So I want you guys to think about that. There is so much to the coding. There is so much. And the real power is knowing how to manipulate it. If you know how to manipulate it, you know how to code. So I want you guys to be able to actually understand everything. So this code is from the FTC robot controller. As you guys know, I will include a link to the GitHub so you guys could go access it as well as there's many more. Like they have many samples. However, I'm using the basic one. So as you guys know, all of these are samples. However, I inserted it into my team controller, into my Java. Okay. So I want you guys I want you guys to to know that like not this code is mine. I did not code this from scratch. So this is code that was provided just to make it more simple to be able to explain to you guys because me personally, I like this this drive on the robot and it's personally my favorite. However, I did some small modifications to kind of make it to my own taste and how I personally do it. So I won't, but however, I'm gonna go over the code. This isn't so much a, oh, here's how we code it because that's not what this, this is more like explaining to you guys what programming is, how everything works, how the if statements work, how conditions work, how variables, how classes, how import, how package, how just something simple that extends. Like many people don't know what extends really is. It's part of a hierarchy. Technically, you could access all the functions that are above if you know. So all of this, it's, it is much information that many people probably don't know. Many people just assume that like, oh, I just need to put it there or else my code doesn't work. But I'm gonna change that. I'm here to actually teach you what it works, how it works. So I really hope that like this video teaches you guys very powerful skills because it's super important. All of this stuff, we're gonna be learning really, really cool stuff that is gonna make you guys amazing programmers. Yes, you guys are gonna get to college and be like easy breezy. Yes, they're gonna be like, you know what a class is? You're gonna be like, I do. You know, they'll be like, you know what a variable is? You'll be like, I do. You know, so a lot of the stuff, a lot of the stuff. And I, as well, I'm gonna explain what everything really means, why you put that there, why you don't put that there. So I really hope that this video really helps. But enough, enough talking, enough talking. Let's get started on this. All right, so I wanna start off by explaining to you guys, obviously you need to import all of this. All of these are just packages and libraries that you need to import. We're not gonna mess with that. Just know that that needs to be there. Teleop, so as you guys know, you guys have the ability to be able to do teleop or autonomous. So this is how you define it. If I were to put autonomous on there, like instead of appearing on my teleop area, like on the little app, it would appear on, on the autonomous. So you guys need to really think about that because it's two whole different things. You know, you, you don't want to accidentally put in your autonomous and then when you run it, it, you're like, why doesn't it do anything? It's not doing anything because you told it not to, you know? <laughs> so all of this stuff is really, really important. And I hope that like this really helps you guys, okay? So first, all uh, obviously you're gonna see errors because none of this really matches with the thing. This is just for education purposes and to actually demonstrate you guys. So you guys might be like, okay, why? Why is there an error? I thought I thought he was supposed to know everything. No, that's not the case. That, that's not the case. Obviously, this code works. However, like I'm just telling you guys, like 
obviously I just configured it to my own thing to be able to just demonstrate it obviously if I was trying to upload this to actually show you guys on the robot I would fix those small errors it's just stuff like that okay so we're gonna start off with the public class drive extents so this essentially is a class that I created obviously I would have to name it basic op mode interactive you know like that's what I would have to name it if I was really realistically going to put it on there because the public class needs to be the name of the file. So if you change that, it doesn't work. So for example, we we could we could try a pretty show really quick. Basic and then up mode underscore and I guess that's an I think that's an L. Um, Oh, I'm pretty sure I'm spelling it wrong. <laughs> but you guys, you guys, you guys get the the basic image. Okay, so now we're gonna start with the this. These are variables. Okay, this DC motor. That's a class. As you guys can see here, it's basically a class that we're just importing in to be able to use this variable, to be able to access all the stuff that this has, you know, cause DC motor obviously to make it easier, you just call a function. Imagine you have to actually go and program the hardware and be like, Hey, this is what it is. That would be way more difficult. However, don't reinvent the wheel. If it already exists, just use all the resources that are there for you. So we're gonna, and then no, no, basically it's empty. There's nothing there, not even a zero. There's a difference between putting a zero there and putting a null. Null takes it zero. Like there's nothing, nothing in there. It's empty. However you define it to zero, you're saying zero, a zero is in there. So there's a huge difference. Null is just basically empty, like set to zero, but it's not zero. Just think about it as zero. Like it makes it like, it's empty, <laughs> nothing in there, <laughs> you know? So I define my motors right here. I have back left, back right, front left, and front right. So I do that because like me personally, I like to use the four wheels. You know, I feel like it just gives me more control. And then as well, I like to be able to go from side to side, you know? So it gives me that ability. And then if we go to the public void int, so this is basically just initiating the hardware. It's basically just initiating the hardware. As you can see the telemetry, add data, the status, initialize. This, this is just everything that displays to the screen. There's nothing else that changes. All that just displays to the screen. So you could delete that line and nothing happens. It's just one display. As well as right here. So as we know, I defined everything here. I just find my variables. However, now I'm giving them a value. I'm saying the hardware map dot get DC motors class. Because it's a class, as I mentioned before. Now everything's starting to click, right? So as you guys know on your guys' robot, you guys have to configure the motors, okay, what motor is it? What motor is it? You know, like like the computer doesn't just magically detect and it's like, okay, I'm assuming this is the back left, this is the back right. You know, you have to exactly define it. So whatever you name it on here, that's what's gonna be the actual name that you have to put when you register it. So think about it as this is, these are your variables in the code, okay? But this is, this is what you actually implement, what you actually write when you're actually setting up your motors, when you're actually setting them up in the app, when the driver control, when you're actually doing that, that's what it is. You know, because I know, I know sometimes there's a lot of like confusion. It's like, okay, like, how does it know what it is? That's how it knows. Because you're telling it right there. This is the name of it, and this is the name you use to identify it. So think about it as an identifier. You know, that's what it is. And then right here as well, set the direction. So as you guys know, for example, on the back left, the motor would be like this, meaning it would go like this and this is forward. However, th on the other side, on the right side, it's the motors flipped, meaning that now the going forward is going backwards. So you guys need to think about that because that is really crucial information, you know, because you need to think about it as the overall image, you know, I'm gonna include a diagram so you guys can see it. So I hope, I hope it makes sense, you know? But that's basically what it is. 
you know it's just directions right here as i said we're just setting it we're calling the functions that belong to there and then we're just defining it obviously if you don't know what a function is it's basically think about it as i don't know think about it as a room that has a bunch of information you could go inside your room and get all that stuff you know that's a function instead of having instead of having like for example okay let's suppose you have a soccer ball instead of having like to every single time go buy a new soccer ball you could just come to your room and get the soccer ball correct so think about it as that like function is kind of complicated right now to explain and go into detail because that means i i'm just gonna go way out of topic and it's just not gonna make sense so let's assume you guys know everything now for right now okay so this right here just sets the directions and i said before it literally just prints to the screen being like okay we ready we ready you know and then right here just initialize the loop it just resets the runtime so essentially in this program we could remove this and then because we were like okay i don't really care that it tells me for how long my program has been running but you have that ability you know but right here here's here's what i really really want to mention okay right here the double left and the double right power this basically power to the right side and to the left side you know so it's not it's 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 just a variable it's just a variable okay i want you guys to know that and then double drive as we know right here one you could obviously if you were using two controllers you would just put a two and it still works or a one or for example if you wanted to just use the y button that's it you know and obviously you wouldn't put a negative on there you know or just stuff like that so don't forget that you guys, this isn't just okay because this is right now just with the joysticks as you guys know on the joysticks right here you could is think about it as math okay y is up y is down and then if you were to do on the x on the x-axis negative and then right there's gonna be a, i'm gonna show you guys it's basically math this is why math is so important in engineering don't slack in your math class because this is crucial you know so remember that so this is all based on as as i mentioned before look at it right here look at it right here the turns x because y is in the x-axis y is in the y-axis Plain and simple like that. Imagine, go back to your Algebra 1. Go back to your Geometry. Go back to your Algebra 2, your Calculus 1, your Pre-Calculus. This is stuff that in school we have learned so much, so much about. And then right here, I'm just assigning it a value. Okay? If this, if I wanted to do tank drive, it would be different. I wouldn't even have to do this. I could literally just do set power and it would work. You know? But that's not what we're here for okay so left power the range clip so this is this is super important if you guys are trying to do other stuff to it because you know like like you might be like okay like i want to be able to just go like this like a little bit and then do something cool or you could be like okay i want to be able to press the back two buttons and then like i wanted to like i don't know go super fast you know or like i wanted to hit the the b and a you can too you know you have all of those abilities all of those abilities so don't just think that so for example, we're to do if okay, we were to do if okay okay why I'm gonna do. X and A. Okay, obviously I'm getting some errors right here. Okay, so for example, this right here, if I wanted to be like, okay, when I press X and A, I wanted to be able to like I don't know shoot the motor up you know if I wanted to be like okay now I wanted I want the left power 
to get activated. You know? And it's going to be activated. That's all it's going to do. It's literally... So what you guys need to think about is that, like, when you guys are coding, like, think about it as, like, you guys are not just limited to... Obviously, this code that I'm showing you guys is just something really simple. I just want you guys to understand what everything really means. Double is just a variable. It's just a variable that holds a number literally between negative one and one because that's your range that you're doing here. One is the fastest that's going to go forward. Negative one, it goes in the other direction the fastest that it can. If you put it at zero, the motor doesn't move. So you guys need to think about all of this when you guys are coding. So don't just think, oh, you know, like he told me that, like, obviously, as I said, you know, like right here, we're using the joysticks, but you don't even need to do that. You don't even need to do that. And as well, right here, it says left stick. This is the left stick. This is the right stick. So in reality, if I wanted to just be able to drive with one, I can. I could literally just put left You know, and then that's it. How, however, it makes more sense if I just put right. So I want you guys to be able to show you guys that like, there's so much customization that goes to this and there's so much code to this. It's not just as simple as you guys think, you know, you can, you guys could use this, all of these buttons, you guys have all of these buttons, in your guys' controller. Do not forget that. You guys have so much, you know? So you guys could go forward, you guys could go backwards. So don't, don't, uh, this is just a range clip. This is literally just a function that we call. It's literally just a function that we're able to call to be able to be like, okay, what's the range to be able to tell the range between the controllers, you know? Obviously, if you don't like this, you're like, okay, you know what? I don't even want to use that. You could make your own through, theoretically. You could go and do all of this by yourself, you know? We really don't like it. Okay, so let's go back to the normal code. Okay, so now, right here, the left power is equal to drive plus turn. That's why we set up the variables where we did that. Um, okay, right here. <laughs> drive and turn, my bad. <laughs> okay, so right here, we have left power and right power. So basically, all this tells me is that, like, okay, to the left, when I want to go straight, the more, the more I move it forward, the more the, the motors are going to accelerate, the more it's going to go faster. Because as we know, this value is going to increment. That's the max. One is the fastest that it could go. And then for the right one, if I wanted to turn, this is for, for turn. It's going to turn, meaning that it's going to subtract the speed. So it's going to add speed to one and it's going to reduce the speed on the other. So you guys need to think about all of that as well. You know, because at least I know, at least for me personally, when I was when I would program all of this and I first started programming back in high school, all of this was super confusing to me. I was like, I was just kind of putting numbers in there and kind of guessing. And you might be like, okay, I don't want it to go super fast. Reduce the range. You know, make it at half the speed. Cause you know sometimes, as you guys know, robots are not very accurate. And then, like that. Plain and simple. It's literally that simple. And you're like, okay, you know, I don't even want to input that. You could literally just make a variable. You could literally just put double and it's like speed is equal to 0 0.5. You know? And then literally that's it. It's literally not that hard. You know? And then you could literally just put over here speed. You know? So. <laughs> what I want you guys to know is that you guys are able to do all of this, you know, variables literally just hold values. There's integers, doubles, doubles allow you to literally just be able to hold a decimal point. Well, integers are whole numbers. It'll just round it to the next one. So I want you guys to be able to know that as well. Okay. So that's how the left, the right and everything, all of that works. And then we go to back left, set power. So all, all what this is going to do is that it's going to grab this motor and it's going to set the power of, of left. So whatever value this is. So as you guys know, code is being read from top to bottom. Always, always, always. Unless you got multiple threads and all that stuff, but that's a whole ass different concept. Okay. So what you guys need to think about that. Okay. So now we come in here and it's like, okay, it's going to, it's the left power. 
it's the right power and then it sets a value it gets a value whenever you move your joystick you're like okay fun okay it catches that value and then it returns it back to left power and then right here it's like okay i know what speed i want to go to right here technically i don't even need this i could literally just put one in there and it's the same thing all that means is that it's going to go full speed full speed and it's going to do it once and that's it and then as well right here if i want if I wanted to go forward, I could literally just put one. And I could completely get rid of this. Because why? At the end of the day, what matters right here is just it's just a value being put in. It's just a simple, plain value being put in. So you guys need to think about that. And then you might be like, okay, why do you have it four times? It's because we have I'm using four motors. So I want them to both go. As you guys know, this the program runs so quick that like you can't even tell the difference between the wheels at uh, what speed you want. Obviously, you could do multi-threading and you could do parallel programming if you really wanted to, you know, and to make them go exactly at the right, right time, you could do that as well. But however, just for this simple video, we're going we're gonna to keep it at that, okay? So, okay, so now it just gets the values and then it goes. And then right here, it literally just prints to the screen. As I said, I could literally just remove this and be like, okay. I don't, I don't, I don't care about any of this. And I just want to be like, you know, it's like, hello, I love dogs. You know, and this, and that's it. Obviously, I would have, to, I could put more stuff and just stuff like that, you know. So I want you guys to know that like this is just reporting to the screen. It's nothing. It's nothing special, as you guys could see. Two string runtime left power right power all the all this does is print the values of the right power but the program runs happen so fast that you can't really tell the delay the latency you can't it's just it's just so fast you can't really tell you know because this is concurrency this is a whole different topic we're not even gonna get into <laughs> okay so this literally this video is just that I hope that like it didn't overwhelm you guys because obviously you need to know some sort of coding before even understanding this because for example as I said this is a function I could literally make another one called public and name it I don't know turn you know and then and then just go like this okay um, I could go like that you know oh sorry uh, okay and then so obviously I need I need to have like a return or something I'll, I'm gonna I'm do a void so I don't have to void essentially it just means okay I'm not gonna return anything and this is literally a function. I could implement a piece of code. Just literally put all of this in here. If I really wanted to. Put all of this code in here. Okay. And then get rid of all of this. Um, okay. And then do, what did I name it? Turn. So as you guys know, Everything that I had in here is literally just gonna call this function and it's gonna do that. Really magical. <laughs> you ask me, there's it, this has so much power. So I want you guys to know that like you're not just set to that. Obviously, right now there's some issues that like you guys can be like, okay, he forgot a syntax. Oh no, he forgot this and that. Yes, I'm aware. <laughs> I'm aware of that, you know? But just for this demo, it's just to demonstrate you guys how you guys could literally just implement it like that. And be like, okay, this is fine. It works. You know, because me personally, I like to have clean code. I don't like having all of this in there. And then, because if I have an error, I'm like, okay, I know it's happening here. And then I have to go and check. Oh, and then right now this program is really short. Later on, you might have servos. You might have hands. You might have, you might have, okay, two controllers. You might have this and that. Or you could literally have a program that's like controller one. 
controller two and just have the program for it and just put in controller one controller two just like that just like that so there's so much power to this that's what I want you guys to understand it's not is you guys are not just stuck to something there's so much to this and I hope that this video really helped you guys and that you guys actually were able to understand some programming to it and then yeah I really hope it helped you guys I really hope it helped you guys because there's so much confusion that goes on okay why do I have to put left power what does this mean like many people think that the left powers will give it the magic no this it doesn't this left power all it does is just a, is just assign the value as I said before this could be a 1 this could be 0 0.5 this could be a negative 0 0.5 there's no limitations <laughs> there's no limitations so it's just about understanding what actually what's actually being received what is being sent what is being inputted because every single time you have an equal sign whatever's on the left is catching the value right here as you guys can see it doesn't have because it's catching nothing yet same here it's catching nothing Oh, it is catching the null, <laughs> and then right here the lapse time is catching is catching the value of that, and then right here it's just setting it. But how we right here, we're setting up the hardware. If you really wanted to, you could make a function that sets up the hardware for you. Think about it as that. This is just a simple, plain video that I want you guys to be able to look at and be like, okay, this makes sense. This makes a lot of sense, and I hope that like. You guys aren't just confused and like what what happened what happened there you know so I hope I hope this video really helped you guys and in the sense to understand that you're just because you see it on the code doesn't mean that's how it has to be because there's so many ways how you could code something so many things and I hope that this really helped you guys and it was really useful and thank you for watching and make sure to watch the other videos where we actually start coding and we actually start coding many cool things because right now right now I'm just I'm just kind of explaining to you guys the simple for drive and as well we'll be including a drink to the whole files and everything because as I mentioned before I'm not gonna take credit and say that I made it all by myself no this is this is code that is provided to all the teams and everything I just modified the file for for how I would personally use it so I hope that it, it literally taught you guys many things and that you guys are like okay now I know what this means, you know, and that it gave you guys more of a clear idea. But thank you for watching, and I hope you liked, and don't forget to like.